All right, all right, guys. We're back here with the uh, hip that failed so many different times, and it's getting close here to um, 90%. We're at 87%. Let's not jinx it, but hopefully this time it's going to print. Last time, this is what it did. It printed this much. I have myself a little servo here to see how that will do, and I think it will work, um, but we'll just have to see when it's fully printed out. It seems to fit this. I don't have the um, horn, servo horn, that's required to be able to, sh uh, to be sure that this is actually going to work. So I'm going to hand it over to my friend Steve, and um, he'll test it out. But, as I said before, this will go like this. And this piece will be able to be mounted as such. We'll have to use a couple of screws. One to go through here and one to go through there. And I think he even wanted to uh, eventually redesign this so that you could have an extra servo motor in the middle. So that if the spider was to um, capsize, it could use a turtle mode to get back in business. And so... Um, Sounds fantastic to me, but we'll have to do a little bit of work to get all of that running. This seems to fit really well with that little lip to keep it in place. Um, to, but we just need to figure out if the servo is too torquey. You see how thin this is? If it'll snap this off. I hope not, but you never know. This is the only part that seems to be pretty flimsy. The rest um, is pretty sturdy the way he'd made it here, and this part too. And this I redesigned to make it very strong, hopefully, so that it'd hold more weight, since this will have to go on top, like this, and hold another servo on there. And so um, we can be hopeful that it'll run the way it was designed, but we'll see. Else we will just redesign the whole thing and start from scratch. But that's the little update. And um, again, we're at 87%, and so far it looks okay here, so let's keep our fingers crossed. I'm very surprised that it was able to print in the air, like right here, this part here, because of the dual cooling, and I'll see if I can zoom in to show you guys. This spot right here, now the printer is going to cover it up, obviously. As it does when you try to do a little presentation and show people something. So this little piece here, right there, was printed entirely in the air. There's no support underneath there. Uh, and so that usually tends to be a problem, and you need to support it. But with dual cooling, which... Um, most printers should have by now, but they don't. They still sell printers with single cooling, with just one fan. Uh, but yeah, if you um, want to get into 3D printing, make sure that your printer has dual cooling. Make sure. Because it saves you countless headaches. Alright, so yeah, this is the update, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.